saw everything. This old body's had just about enough. Well, well. Another visitor to the responder's graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Come to pay your respects to the fallen? That's good. It's important to honor the memories of those we lost. I got a brother around here, somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know, he was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the worms. That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me? I just looked out for myself. Now I'm still alive, and he's long gone. Did his life count for something? I don't really know. He and other responders saved a lot of folks, but they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memory. Even those will fade in time. Anyway, guess you've listened to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? What would you like to know? Marcus, five years younger than me. Start running back in high school, and handsome too. Had all the ladies chasing him. He followed me into the army, became an MP. Then got out and moved to Morgantown, signed up with the police. Back then, I was still living in Cincinnati. We talk on the radio. He tried to get me to come out here and join the responders more than once. I do miss him. I don't figure it matters much how dangerous this place is. If one of those mutants don't get me, cancer will. But I guess what keeps me here is just knowing this is where my brother died. Call me a superstitious old fool, but I don't want my spirit to have to walk too far to find his. I know it's a ruined wasteland filled with a hundred things that want to eat you. It's better this way. Less noise, less fuss, just echoes. In time, nature takes it all back. One day, nobody will know there was ever a city here. In the short term, well, you got the train station with the robot who can sell you supplies. And south of that, the train yard might be good for salvage. And of course, Morgantown's just across the river. Probably lots of useful stuff over there, if you can survive. There used to be cops, firefighters, medics. Marcus always made them sound like good folk. They looked after other people as best they could. This was their base, as far as I can tell. They got overrun by those things out in the hall. Found a few bodies in here and set up a little memorial. There was a lady named Chavez. Got a holotape tape she made on that map table. Last words by the sound of it. I ain't been here that long, so that's about all I know. Time's all I got left, but I don't mind sharing it. You be safe out there.
Overseer is wrong. Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. I wonder what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even... Find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer. Signing off.